Hey, what is up everyone and welcome back. I've got a bunch of exciting stuff to talk about this week with you guys, including a new sci-fi series from the Game of Thrones creator, George R.R. R. Martin. I got some new stickers from Rob Israel, who does some really amazing artwork, so I can't wait to open this with you guys. I got this sick new hoodie from Amo for Techno. Plus there is a bunch of new films and new music that I'm dying to talk about with you guys, so let's get into it. First up, just a quick reminder, if you want to be in the chance to win one of these five awesome stickers, the competition ends this Wednesday. So yeah, if you haven't already entered into it, uh, check out my vlog from the previous episode after you've watched this one and you can have a chance to win one of these five awesome stickers from the new Amen for Techno album by Matt Scratch. So Night Flyers is the new series by George R.R. Martin who you might know from Game of Thrones. Uh, he, as you know, has quite a lot of bloodlust uh, by Game of Thrones standards. So it's going to be really interesting to see what he can do storytelling wise uh, in a sci-fi environment. The basic premise of the show is that uh, crew are set out in space to explore an alien ship and as they're going on their maiden voyage, uh, things start to go incredibly wrong. And uh, yeah, the trailer looks pretty trippy, pretty intense. There seems to be a whole sort of thing where uh, people are getting their memories hacked. Unfortunately, there's no set release date for Netflix currently, but Sci-Fi have said that it will be coming out in the autumn, so expect that later this year. There was a malfunction during launch. Someone on board might be behind it. It's a long, long There's no turning. Someone's taking control. Next up, I recently discovered a film which has been doing the rounds at Sundance. It's been getting a ton of critical praise, and judging by the trailer, I can see why. Uh, looks incredibly sharp, incredibly funny, very surreal. Uh, just kind of like imagine a reality. Uh, like operating at 200% and then or kind of like flipped on its head. It kind of looks like hyper reality and uh, yeah, judging by the trailer, I am super intrigued to find out more about this. The only sad detail I did find about this film was the fact that it's on limited release in the US at the moment. So there's currently no way to watch it in the UK, but fingers crossed, it, the, the amount of critical praise it's been getting across the board uh, does mean that it should get enough of a push to get a universal release. So it's definitely one to watch for me. Uh, check out the trailer if you haven't already. Here's a little clip for now. Was that Visa or MasterCard? We go level it up! You're going upstairs, my compadre. Okay, bravo. You don't have to sell out. I'm not selling out. Here's the starting salary. Well, man, I'm gonna have to get me some new suits. And this week I also stumbled upon a trailer for the film Upgrade, which looks incredibly slick, uh, high octane action. Uh, kind of imagine, what's the way, way to describe it? Imagine if John Wick didn't know he was John Wick until he got a symbiotic implant in the back of his neck and all of a sudden it was just able to turn into a, like a, a super highly skilled uh, killer. That's pretty much what Upgrade is. It's from the visionary creator who also made Saw and Insidious. I really love the camera work in the trailer and some of the stuff they put in there looks uh, really fascinating. I really love the idea of a guy uh, being almost grossed out by how efficiently he's able to mess people up. Uh, so <laughs> that up in itself is an interesting premise. And uh, it comes out the 31st of August, so definitely one to watch for now. We'll need a plan. I got this. This doesn't seem like a well thought out plan. <laughs> I need your permission to operate independently. Permission granted! Thank you. I finally got round to watching Isle of Dogs recently and absolutely love it. Uh, there's the stop motion animation in that film is really incredible, really highly detailed. And there's a certain uh, cleanness to it, beautifully animated, uh, really well put together. Obviously, Wes Anderson has a uh, complete fetish for symmetry and all that sort of stuff. So it's really well put together. So if you missed it in the cinema in March, now's the perfect time to check it out. Wherever he is, if he's alive. We'll find your dog. Ah! It's gonna be a fight! So next up, I wanted to say a big shout out to Manny Dextrous and all the Amen for Techno crew. Uh, I was lucky enough to get one of these hoods recently and I absolutely love it. The main attraction is this design on the back, which looks absolutely nuts. Uh, I am so, so happy with this. It looks so sick. And there's the obvious 
standard Amen for Techno logo on the inside sleeve. Got a nice little bit of detailing on the hood there. Got a nice 23 detailing uh, down here as well. And um, yeah, I went for the XL size this time round. I normally get more of like a large, but I fancy something a little bit uh, baggier this time. And it is so comfy. I think like, if you ever see me about anywhere, I'm normally either wearing like Amen for Techno hoodie or a bottle hoodie, because they use the same um, type of hoods for them. And they are super comfy. And uh, yeah, really could not recommend getting these enough. So if you want to pick up one of these hoods or any other stuff that they've got down there, just head on over to the merch tab at amenprotecno.com. There's a bunch of awesome stuff in there and uh, you get free sticker packs with every single order, so it's definitely worth checking out. I'm just going to take this off now again because uh, it's so hot in the studio. <laughs> oh, my days. And speaking of hot stuff, uh, I was able to fully listen to uh, Tanakichi's album this week and uh, it's really, really awesome stuff. Uh, I've actually been really hard pressed to stop listening to it, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, I, I gave this like a little bit of a shout out in the last episode, but uh, being able to fully listen to this now, uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend checking this album out. Tanakichi has three tunes uh, available for free uh, on his SoundCloud at the moment as well. So uh, if you want some free tunes, just head on over there and yeah, get some free hard tech. And yeah, like the album artwork, I didn't manage to highlight properly last week, I was a bit out of focus. But the album artwork on this looks absolutely awesome. And it's also on the CD as well, which I was not expecting. Yeah, check that out. And then also, Behind the CD, uh, there's a nice little photo as well of Tanakichi doing this thing. It's a big up Tanakichi. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be listening to a lot more of this in the future. <laughs> in fact, let's get you on the shelf. Where can we put ya? Uh, around about... I think that was, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Nice. And speaking of artists that I really love, um, I got another package from Rob Israel after his uh, stickers that I got opened uh, like a few months ago now. Um, yeah, really love his artwork. I discovered him earlier this year and yeah, I've been an absolute addict ever since pretty much. Uh, I can't get enough of his artwork. It's just really, really good. Um, and he does lots of sort of like different um, interpretations of uh, either like f famous icons or pop culture, that sort of stuff, but just makes them like super demonic, super crazy. Uh, yeah, so without any further delay, let's get into this thing. So this time I, I didn't get as many as last time, so I didn't want to do like a whole video for it. But uh, these are definitely worth sharing with you guys before I stick them on the wall. Uh, these are pretty awesome. Uh, so let's go with... So we've got this super demonic Mr. Meeseeks. Look... <laughs> Check this guy out. What? What? <laughs> Should I just get up like right onto the camera? How crazy is that? And uh, the, the, the print quality on these is so good. So, so good. Uh, the next one was this super crazy awesome version of Batman. Look at that. What? <laughs> Rob, mate, your, your work, man, is you just kill it. It's, it's so mental. That is insane. I love it. <laughs> and, um, the piece de resistance is this interpretation of Beetlejuice. Who, look, wow. Look at that. Seriously nuts, man. Just, I just love the detail in these. See if I can get a little bit closer for you. Yeah, just uh, check that out. What? Just what the act? <laughs> just what? <laughs> so mad. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yes, yeah, so I can't wait to add those to the collection. Thank you so much, Rob. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love those. I'm so glad they got here, okay? And the very last thing, uh, which would be good news for you guys that like to watch the live streams that I do. I finally got a decent webcam, so I'll, we won't be live streaming on my phone as much or uh, at all if I can possibly avoid it. But uh, yeah, this little baby um, does a lot of really good stuff. Um, it's pretty much become like, the gold standard for um, broadcasting live, so I'm going to be really excited to have an actual decent sound recording, decent image for you guys. It's not just me from my phone, won't be all pixelated as hell. Uh, yes, yeah, so live streaming will be getting a lot better from this point forward, I promise you. 
There's still lots of stuff coming. I ended up shooting about five hours of stuff at Bolter, it turns out, so it's been taking quite a bit of time to go through. I'm getting to the point where it's nearly done, nearly, nearly done. Hopefully it should be out, if not later in the week, sometime next week. Uh, Upfest is happening this weekend. Make sure you don't miss that. That's gonna be in Bedminster in Bristol. It's a free festival between Friday and Sunday. So definitely get down to that if you can. Uh, there's amazing artists from all over Europe. So it's definitely worth a look if you, if you haven't been there before. And that's pretty much it for me, guys. Uh, as always, I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash realflix. If you want to get some extra stuff down there, it's exclusive content, help support the channel. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, if you don't want to, that's totally cool as well. Uh, if you want to give this video a like or a share, that would be awesome. Don't forget to check out the previous episode. If you want to get the stickers from Matt Scratch's new album, we've got five of these to give away. These things are, are really sick as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Remember, if you like what I do here, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to sign up for notifications, hit the bell icon. If you want to see first on, on Facebook, that would be sick. Uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Okay, now I'm going to find somewhere to put these stickers. Shout out to Rob from Contraband Circus and Manny Dextrous at Amen for Techno for these. If you are an artist and you want to get your uh, art on this wall, uh, just send me a DM and I will send you an address to send your artwork to. Thank you. Oh God, where am I going to put these? I'm running out of room. <laughs>